Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday where we teach you a classic DJ technique that was invented years ago but still very useful today. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually mark your records with cue points and start points just like in digital DJ. Traditionally, you would start a vinyl record at the very beginning. You just start the first beat, and once it's ready, you start to fade it in. But with digital DJing, we've learned that sometimes the best place to start a song is not at the beginning, but maybe even at the middle. So how do you do that with records? Well, you do it using stickers. Today, I'm gonna to teach you two basic techniques using a simple white printer sticker that I'm gonna chop up into a pair of lines to help you mark and play back your vinyl. This of course is for all you guys out there that have just started playing vinyl or are playing vinyl for years but really need and miss some of those digital DJ techniques. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to mark the first beat of a track which is really helpful. Let's pull a different track off. I've got a record under here that's pretty old but oh my god is it good. Here is a Dage beat, and if you guys take a look at this record, it is scratched up, but this beat is so good. Now the problem with a beat like this is just that. Because of the scratches, it sometimes slips, and you need to be able to find that beat again really quickly. So our first sicker is gonna help us with that. Let's find that beat right there and now what we're going to do is we're going to mark that place with this sticker so we visually know where the start of the beat is for that song i'm just going to go ahead because the beat is essentially right there i'm going to put it on that side of the needle right behind it which shows me that's the beat so if i lose it i can very quickly go around and find it so I don't miss that critical drop. Now what this doesn't help me with is starting the song in a completely different part of the record. For that, we're gonna have to get a little bit more tricky. Now, word of warning, do not do this to your favorite expensive records because it does damage the first parts. I probably shouldn't be doing it to this particular record. We're only gonna do it once. This is a real classic, somewhat rare record, uh, Superman Lovers, Starlight really great jam and the beginning of the track starts with this big opening which is a nice place and if you want to completely let the music die you could just play that beginning might be a great way to start your track but if you want to mix in this song you want to start at the first beat which is right there so let's say that i always 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 wanted to go straight to that beat and skip all that beginning blah, hands in the air crap because that's just not who I am as a DJ. Well, we're going to take our sticker. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter because we're going at the beginning of the record. And what we're going to do is actually lay down a track so the needle falls or goes straight to that point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put this right up against that needle so it leads to it. And what that means is that the next time I play this record, it's gonna... There it is. Every time I chop this needle, even if it's the very beginning, the needle is going to slide straight into position, and then I've got my beat. Now obviously two things to keep in mind here. Number one, some gunk is gonna get on your record, so that's gonna damage it. And number two, every time you drop the needle, it's dragging the needle across those grooves into the groove that you actually want. But as you can see, it's pretty easy and semi-permanent, and I would just leave that on the record, and that gives me a virtual, actually a real cue point, or a load marker, if you will, but in vinyl world. 
For lots of really amazing old school techniques just like this one, visit us on the web at djtechtools.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel as we launch new Throwback Thursday techniques every week.